been building up a bit of a selection of uh, Morse taper drills um, over the years and I haven't really had anywhere proper to keep them. They've generally lived over in this corner underneath these um, other drill bits of paraphernalia which isn't terribly convenient. So I'm thinking of making a, a rack that sits on the wall here. And I've got this box which was from my um, quick change tool post set um, which has been sitting around for years and I've been never wanting to chuck it away because I think it's useful for something um, as a box but it, I haven't found a use so now it's going to turn into a drill rack so I think what I'm going to do is peel out the so I'm going to remove this top piece and screw this to the wall um, and put some holes in here so I'm basically going to have a 3 by 10 arrangement I shall drill them or mark them out I think I'll just drill them on the, the pillar drill um, and then the plan is to use some clipping sleeves to adapt plain holes to a slightly tapered hole so that the um, Morse tapers go in nicely so first off let's take one off Oops. See if the Morse 2, just an idea, fits in there nicely. It does. That's exactly what I wanted. And then this is just a practice piece. Does it fit in a something to press through? There we are. Snap in. So it won't come out. A different one. There we are. Lovely. Let's drill some holes. I just want to check that they don't clash with each other too much because they're going to be tightly spaced in here. That snaps in quite nicely. There we go. Yeah, they're all right. They're snug that way. Obviously, I knew I'd more space that direction, but I'm trying to fit as many as I could in this direction, so. I've Bump them up to next to each other. I'm going to have to do some Morse taper one ones because I've got some Morse ones. There we are. Yeah, right. Let's do the rest of them. Right, there we are. Well, that's all the um, collars that I printed out on that occasion. There's a couple of spares, but um, I'm going to do another three along there for Morse 2 and then I've got nine positions for Morse 1 so I'll print some different colours for those um, but yeah it sort of works quite nicely I'm going to evaluate this first see how it goes see if the concept works and doesn't fall apart and make sure this is strong enough and and everything because I have got a load of other taper tooling so all the mill related stuff you know end mills chucks um, boring head in there um, you know and then we got the centers for the lathe um, 
sleeve adapters, this sort of thing. So it'd be nice to make something similar for that lot. Um, so, but yeah, like I say, we'll try this out first. And the other thing um, you might notice is these are rather large drills for Morse too. And what I've done is I've, I've turned the shank down on these, basically. Um, it was a set that I got from uh, someone I know who had got a job lot of these from a, um, I don't know, a auction or something. And they were mostly in a pretty bad state. The shanks were beaten up. The tangs were knackered. You know, the, the ends were chipped, all that sort of thing. So, you know, they weren't worth a whole lot. Um, but I said, oh, I'll have them and I'll, you know, gradually sort them out. Um, the ones that haven't got completely knackered ends, I've, I've um, done some of the shanks. Um, I've got four more to do here. But they're all huge sizes so that I haven't really needed to use them. I mean, I mostly use them just for opening up holes on the lathe when I'm uh, going to do a boring operation or something because I can go in stages um, and the drill is a hell of a lot quicker than anything else so they, they don't need the full-on shank um, the pillar drill is Morse 2 the lathe tailstock is Morse 2 the mill is Morse 3 and I've got a sleeve that will take that up to 3 um, so it just seemed like a sensible idea to um, make them Morse 2 so I could use them um, and not just have them sitting around but um, that's a job for another day it takes a little while to turn these down because they're quite hard all right let's screw this to the wall so put four screws in here because um, there's gonna be a fair bit of weight i can always add a few more if i need to try and um, get the heavy end on this uh, join here which is where there's a batten behind so let's get that one one on first Oh, so there we are. The spaces in there I'll populate with the sizes that I've either got to turn shanks down or I need to buy. Seems to be uh, taking the weight. Nicely positioned for the drill and the lathe. I very occasionally use them on the mill, but um, it's it's usually the lathe. Nice place to keep them. So uh, yeah, I'd love to have a, a roll cab where I could have all these things really nicely laid out, but I don't have the space. Um, and that does the job for me. Thanks for watching.